So you might be in a situation where for some reason your Google Photos are just not loading. Now this happens for a few different reasons all of the time. So the very first thing I'd recommend doing here is just making your way over to your Google Messages application. And what I meant Google Photos, I meant Google Messages. You want to make your way over to Google Messages and all you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and find that specific message that's not loading. Now the first thing you're going to always have to remember is that it really is dependent on your Wi-Fi signal as well as your specific you know, cell signal that you're getting. So if you have a really, really bad cell signal, you're not going to be able to load up the photos that are sent to you because you just don't have enough data or memory or just information to actually load it up. So that is one of the largest things to keep in mind. Just go ahead, make sure you have a decent cell connection or decent Wi-Fi connection. And that is one of the biggest things I could probably recommend doing in order for you to actually fix this issue. Now, if for some reason that's not working either, Another thing you're going to want to try doing is to go through and just see if for some reason you can find the specific photo that somebody is sending to you. So if the photo somebody is sending to you is very, very large, or if it's a video somebody is sending to you, sending to you, and it's a very large video, things like that happen all of the time. So what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and make sure that within the photo or video that you have, that your specific phone can actually open up that photo or video and it's not a corrupted photo that was sent to you either. That's another massive thing that can happen all the time as well. If for some reason that's not causing some issues, you may just want to see if you can restart your phone. So just go and hold down the buttons that you normally would to actually restart your phone. Restart it. You want to see if that ends up working. If that doesn't end up working either, you may just want to go and up and open up your settings application. You want to scroll down until you see system, which is right here. And you then want to go and scroll down until you see system update, which is right here. And you want to go ahead and see if there's a software update available for your phone. Chances are there probably is a software update available for your phone. And that is probably going to be one of the more important things you can do in order to fix this problem as well. So those are pretty much the main ways to go and do this. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.